Once I say spoken, twice a verb. Once I say said it, that the power belongs. Once I say spoken, twice a verb. Once I say said it, that the power belongs. Let me kiss it over you. Everybody fall out. Let me kiss it over you. Let me kiss it over you. Let me kiss it over you. Everybody fall out. Let me kiss it over you. Who they talk? Waiting God no talk. Oh, I don't It's amazing how you love me. It's amazing how you do the things you do for me. That's the money, so the papa. Many blessings, so the surplus. It's a hold on, yeah. That's the money, so the papa. Many blessings, so the. Oh, yeah, give me chance. Oh, I want to pray. I want to praise my God. Give me chance. I want to praise my God. Glad you know. Don't tell your neighbor. Glad you know. This motion for Jump! 
still coming back. One time. All right, before I leave the stage, I'd like to sincerely apologize for, you know, starting this event late. It was due to power. We had some issues with powers and there was really nothing we could do without electricity. Thank you so much for staying back. I love you. We love you. God bless you. We love See you in a bit. Gentlemen, I'd like you to know that BDM is still going to come back tonight. Don't be in a hurry because still to come, Daddy Justified is going to grace this stage. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Minister Toki Alabi is going to grace this stage. Tonight, Ducey Oyeko is going to grace this stage. But right now, ladies, full of grace and power. Ladies and gentlemen, you see his updates all the time on your phones. And his updates are always inspiring. Ladies and gentlemen, the lead pastor, Sphere of Light Church. Ladies and gentlemen, with some noise to Jesus. Make some noise as I invite and welcome Apostle Femi. Hallelujah. Wow. 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 Can we make that noise loud and clear? And give Jesus a big, big, big shout. Thank you, Lord. Now lift your hands where you stand. Lift your hands where you stand. And bless the name of the Lord from the depth of your heart. The Lord has packaged awesome things for us tonight. Beyond what we can number. Lift your hands to him. Bless the one who lives forever and ever. The one whose dominion is incontestable. The one whose throne is from everlasting to everlasting. Bless him. Lift your voice and thank him. Shout thank you Jesus. Come on, shout again. Thank you, Jesus. In the next two minutes, lift your voice and thank him. He has not called the seed of Jacob. Adore him. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him the honor that is due. Let your gaze be fixed on whether on the gallery in the overflow. Thank him and give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. In Jesus' mighty name we're praying. Let me hear that amen loud like thunder. Say that amen with fire. Now the Lord spoke to me while praying towards this meeting. He said he's going to restore. I said maybe the person is not here and the canker worms have eaten. Now listen to me. The Lord spoke to me specifically. About someone here who feels left behind. Someone who feels like all your friends, everyone has moved on. And you have been left behind. You feel stuck. The Lord who can shrink time and make powerful things happen in no time. He will shrink time for you tonight. What is taking man 10 years to accomplish? You will accomplish in no time. Again, I decree and declare the Lord, before this meeting is over, you are getting out of that tunnel. Again, I insist in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Tonight, you come out. For the dancing and rejoicing cannot stop the move of the Spirit. 
The Lord moves best when there's joy. One more time, I want you to roar like thunder and rejoice to the Lord tonight. Now you are rejoice to the Lord. Now hear me. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. God said these things are done in parables. Men may wonder, why are they shouting? Why are they rejoicing? What is making them glad? But you see, we don't call conspiracy what men call conspiracy. When they say there's a casting down, we say there's a what? When they say there's a casting down, we say there's a what? I heard that sound in my spirit. Lose him and ah, and let her go. Now hear me. You see all the dancing, all the rejoicing tonight. We are doing one thing. Many of us have traveled from far and near to do one thing. It is to minister to the Lord. Now in the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter number 8. Fasting yourself to his chariot. And when he got to where the Ethiopian eunuch was, the man was reading the book of Isaiah. Then Philip asked him, Understandest thou what thou readest? You know, it is possible to gather tonight and sing and rejoice and shout. But do you understand that we are standing before the monarch of the universe? We are standing before the one who began before beginning began. We are standing before the one who made kings and dethroned kings. We are mighty in battle. Now, pay attention to this. In Acts chapter number 13, the Bible said certain prophets. Now, I believe that seated and standing in this place today, there are prophets and there are teachers. I didn't hear amen to that. To the Lord. The Holy Ghost said, separate unto me Paul and Barnabas and Saul for the work whereon to have called them. You see, as we rejoice, mantles drop. As we rejoice, there's transference. Pierce. Now I make bold. While I sat down there, I perceived heavily in the atmosphere, ancient mantles. I saw a wave blow into this place suddenly. And I perceived so strong that this meeting tonight is a setup. I perceive that we are surrounded with angelic mantles. When Elisha followed Elijah, the sons of the prophet stood to view him from afar. Elisha said, I want twice as much. He said, you have asked a hard thing. But if you can see me, you will have what you ask. The Bible said as they were walking, suddenly a chariot came from heaven and separated between them. And Elisha saw him thereof. And the Bible said the mantle of Elijah fell. And when Elisha got to Jordan, both the rivers and the waters parted. Now hear me. There are rivers that swallows men in dispensations. But because mantles are dropping tonight, somebody will leave this place with waves of power. Somebody will leave this place with waves of glory. Somebody will leave this place with extraordinary anointing. Elisha cried, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. Now, graces, God has sent graces to this place. Men and women who have labored. But you know one thing about transference is that in a meeting sometimes, what took a man decades to labor for can rub off on you. I want everyone under the sound of my voice. Like I told you, I saw the heavens open and I saw ancient oil. I saw ancient mantles. There is something great, but there is something here. Lift your hands to heaven wherever you stand. Everyone. Lift your hands to heaven. Now you will cry out, Lord God, my Father, to not that the fathers found. I will not leave this place the same way. Lift your voice and cry.
You have a minute. You have a minute. Kapata kalete. Kualete kobatia. Lift your voice and cry to the Lord. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. One time I heard that the geo pastor here had a share a story. That they had the opportunity. Some. What do you want? This one said, give me the permission to sell your tape. He asked the other one, what do you want? He said, we want to distribute all you want. He said, I want everything that makes you, you. And the man said, kneel down. Now, let me say this to you. Grace to stand tonight. I want you to see. I don't just want your eyes to be opened. I want you to see. There are many of you who are standing here. Jesus. There are many of you standing and eating here. That people may see you today and despise you. But it doesn't change the fact. And you are about to become a wonder. You are about to become an amazement to nations. I see. And say I receive. Say it again I receive. Say it again I receive. Now let me beg you before I go. Genesis 49. And he said gather yourselves. You sons of Jacob. That I may tell you what will befall you in the last days. Now he called his first son. And he said Reuben. Now the firstborn was the one entitled to the blessing. He said Reuben. You are my firstborn. My might. The beginning of my strength. The excellence of you went into your father's bed. And defiled it. And he pegged Reuben. In Deuteronomy 33. Reuben. Doesn't matter. The negative pronouncement that went into your life. I stand tonight with the rod of a higher that which has stopped men from your lineage that is threatening to stop you in the name of Jesus. Now let me beg you the same way being in a car park doesn't make you a